Hello crochet creatures, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Christina and I am the owner of Leo Lonel Crochet. Today, we are going to make some Halloween decorations. I've never been like super into Halloween decorations, but it's getting worse by the year. I'm really falling in love with Halloween. And I don't wanna buy decorations for Halloween, so we're gonna make some. We're gonna crochet some pumpkins. I think I'm gonna make like a pumpkin stack with some snuggly yarn, like some velvet yarn. We're gonna make probably a banner to hang over our window. And if I have time, I also wanna try to make like a wall hanging of some kind. Grab yourself a coffee or the beverage of your choice. And let's make some decorations. So we're gonna start with the pumpkin stack. I have some baby snuggle yarn from Hobby here. I have a full skein of black. I also have some leftovers from the Frankenstein's bag pattern uh, project that I made. The pattern for that is up on Etsy and Ribbler as we speak. <sighs> Simba, stop it. <laughs> um, so I think we're gonna make some velvet pumpkins. Now I'm struggling to decide if I want to have like two purple and one black or two black and one purple. I have two skeins of purple and only one skein plus a little bit of the black one. So I should probably do purple, black, purple. Simba, stop biting my toes. So yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go get the purple yarn and a six millimeter hook, and we're gonna get started. So I have my six millimeter Athena hook from Crochet Society. This is my absolute favorite. I will link it in the description down below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but this crochet hook is amazing. I want the bottom pumpkin to be quite big. Um, it's gonna fold over like this. I think I'm gonna do a few more. <laughs> this might be too big. I've made a chain of 40 um, and I'm just gonna measure this because this is gonna be the height of the pumpkin. It's gonna be folded over so it's not gonna be this big. But I'm gonna measure the length of this, which is gonna be the height. And then I'm going to do the length of this and double it for the width of the pumpkin. Okay, so we're going to make a rectangle that is about 40 times 80. Usually I would start this by going in like the back bumps of the chain, but I find it really difficult to work in the back bumps of this velvet yarn. Just going to go into the second chain from the hook and I'm gonna do half double crochets. This isn't really a tutorial, but I'm just gonna let you know like a few of the things that I'm doing. So if you wanna make it yourself, you have a general idea. I will do more tutorials in the future, but right now I need some Halloween decorations. I also made a short showing off the uh, the boo bag that I have a pattern for, which is a little ghost bag, and it seemed to get a lot of positive feedback, so I might do like a tutorial for that one. I both love and hate working with the velvet yarn. <laughs> like I love the look of it, I love crocheting with it, but as soon as you need to frog something, it's a pain in the ass. So I'm wondering, do you decorate for Halloween at your home and do you have like something special, like one decoration that you just need to have, need to set up for Halloween? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious how people decorate their home for Halloween. Like we didn't really celebrate Halloween or decorate for Halloween when I was a kid. It wasn't that normal here in Norway, but it is more normal now. And I've gotten more of a relationship with Halloween over the years. And like I said, it's getting worse. Like every year I feel more into Halloween than the last. <laughs> so who knows where this is gonna end. Thank you. 
So I've made two rows now. What I did is that I just did half double crochets all the way down the starting chain, chain two, turned and then did half double crochets only in the back loops. And that's what I'm going to continue on doing for the rest of this panel. I'm going to do half double crochets in the back loop, chain two, turn, half double crochets in the back loop. Simple, easy, quick. This is going to be a big pumpkin, but like I said, I want to stack. I want three pumpkins on top of each other to have like a centerpiece on, I think it's going to be the dining table. So. Let's continue on and I'll meet you in a little bit. So I thought I would give you a little bit of an update. Here is how far I've come on the first pumpkin. I did calculate a bit wrong because I measured the cha starting chain and not the first row. So the actual width of this is 35, not 40. So we're going for 35 and then 70. So it's a good thing I actually did measure it out or else it would have been quite a low pumpkin. <laughs> It might have looked good anyways, but we're going to continue on. I really want to get done with this one today. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of the panels and then do the stitching together and the filling after I've done all three. So let's watch some Gilmore Girls, drink some coffee, and finish this pumpkin. Or at least finish parts of this pumpkin. You know what I mean. Let's crochet. <laughs> Had to change, it was getting so hot in here, but big pumpkin ready to be singed in and stuffed but yeah we're gonna jump into the black now and work on that middle pumpkin not something I'm looking really forward to because black yarn and stitches is a pain but I think it's gonna look really good these colors together putting that aside ready to work on this one I will meet you later when this is done Second one almost done. I just need to uh, single crochet down the edges here. So what I do is I just fold them together right sides facing each other and then I just single crochet all the way down and then fasten off and cut the yarn remembering to have a tail long enough so that I can sew it together, cinch it in at the end. I totally forgot that with the big one to have like a long tail at the beginning of the pumpkin so I'll have to wing it there and maybe use the the ending tail to cinch in both sides but that's fine so we're gonna complete this folded panel and then we can get on to the smallest pumpkin to have on top Now my only worry is that I might not have enough of the purple yarn for the last pumpkin. I was debating doing like a striped pumpkin on top. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a striped pumpkin on top. All right, big pumpkin, medium pumpkin, and oh, oh. <laughs> small pumpkin got my needles it's time to sew the bottom part together here and cinch it in so that we can do the stuffing
some black swirls, which I think would be nice on like the top of the purple pumpkin and some purple swirls going here. So I'm gonna do a combo of these two on top. Uh, I was thinking about using like a cinnamon stick for the stem, but I have completely closed this one off, so that would be a bit hard. So I think I'm gonna crochet a stem, then fasten these off, and then the first home decor Halloween piece is done. I will show you all of the pieces when they are all done. I have started the next project already, which is that I wanna do like a Halloween garland that I can hang above my window. I've started, I've made one triangle. I'm using, where is it? I'm using this Rainbow Deluxe 8x4 cotton yarn. Um, it would preferably have used yarn that's a bit thicker so these would work up quicker. But I'm not gonna buy new yarn for this project. I'm just using the yarn that I already have to kind of use some of the stash that I have in my house because it's starting to become ridiculous. So I've made one triangle, working on the second one. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like the garland is gonna be black. The triangles are gonna have like a black lining around them as well. Uh, so yeah, this might take a little bit of time but they work up quite quickly even though it's like two and a half millimeter hook so <sighs> thin yarn, small hook, but still quite easy and fast, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm gonna continue on working on that. So I changed my mind. I was going to have it here with the lights, but then, sorry about the mess, we're all a little bit under the weather here. Then I decided I want to have them hanging here on top of my bookshelf. So I think I'm gonna do five for each shelf. And now I have about 13, I think. I have a good stack of them here. So I need to keep going and then we can hang them up. I'm also playing around with the idea of doing like a full fall decoration theme in my bookshelf, clean it up a little bit, take away all of the weird decorating things I have there and just put a lot of crocheted fall and Halloween decorations in it. We'll see. progress update on the garland. Well, firstly, I'm getting really tired of making these triangles, to be honest, just because the hook is so small and uh, the, the yarn is so thin. If I were to have planned this, I would have gotten thicker yarn so that it could have worked up more quickly. But as I said, I don't really want to buy more yarn for this project. I'm trying to use the yarn that I have. So we got a stack of triangles. I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. So four more to go. Working on number 17 here. I, I can't wait to be done with this, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, that's the update. I'm done, done, done. 20 triangles, done. <sighs> Finally. 
celebratory sip of cold coffee. Now I need to block all of these before I can continue on with the garland. So I think I'm just gonna put these aside for now. What I think I'm gonna do, because the idea was to make like a wall hanging, but I don't have all of the supplies for that and I don't want to buy more supplies for this project. Uh, and like I mentioned, I think I wanna transform my bookcases and give them a touch of fall and Halloween decor. So what I'm thinking is we'll make some mini pumpkins, some mini ghosts, just put them here and there in the bookcase. How does that sound? I like that idea. So we are gonna find some fluffy yarn, some velour yarn, and make some ghosts and pumpkins. But yeah, it's time for a little bit of an update. So I made two little ghost buddies that are going on the bookshelf. I also made this little ghost buddy. Uh, I think I want to make a pattern for him because he's just adorable. Uh, and I'm almost done with this tiny little pumpkin. I need to make a stem for it. Started making a second one. And I'm all done. <laughs> Aren't you a chatterbox? <laughs> and I'm all done blocking these triangles. Turned out though, I don't know where I put it now. I made 21. For some reason, I had made one that didn't end up in the stack with all of the others, so I made one more than I needed to. Uh, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee right now. Everyone is snoozing except for Luna and me. We have like a cold going through here, so Michael is sick. Um, Noelle is, is, she's been pretty good this whole week. She's still coughing a little bit, but she's home from daycare today. Just because we, we thought she could uh, use a little bit of a break. She's had some long days there this week because we haven't been feeling well, so. Now that she's napping and Michael is napping, I'm gonna have myself a coffee and get started on this. I just need to figure out where I put my black cotton yarn. I found it. Also have my coffee in the Jack Skeleton mug. And this is the home stretch. I really wanna get this done and get this video out today. So let's do this.
I'm still battling the cold, so we're going to do a voiceover for this. You remember how it looked like? I cleaned out the shelves, and here it is with all of the decorations. We got the pumpkin stack on our dining table. Uh, I've been moving it back and forth from the middle into the side, but I really like how it looks. And the garland turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. I put some spiders on it. I also put uh, some different characters that I have, like pop figures and such, into the bookshelves. There's a little witch hat that I made. And one of the ghost buddies. Little pumpkin. The other pumpkin. Another ghost buddy. And this little guy, he is my favorite. <laughs> So that is it. I hope you liked it. This is the uh, Halloween disco ball that I got last year for Halloween. Uh, it's been up all year. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Let me know uh, what you thought in the comments down below and if you want to see some tutorials for anything I made. So happy Halloween!